Hey guys, what up? This is me, not Olive Alex, and today I have advanced color grading tutorial to share with you guys. And a lot of you been asking me a lot to do this tutorial, so finally, there is the tutorial for you guys out there. Now, before you continuing watching this tutorial, I really suggest you guys, or highly suggest, I would say, to watch my other two previous tutorial, which is how to color correct and how to color grade. Because in this tutorial, all of the clip that I'll be showing you guys right now in my timeline is pretty much color corrected and color grade. And I won't be going through how I pretty much correct and grade them. So make sure to watch that tutorial first before proceeding watching this tutorial. So anyway, let's continue with our tutorial. And I have five different clips here. The first clip here is shot at airport, the building of a school, and then a shot of my friend here some fight scene and then finally uh, uh, just a normal landscape shot here like a cinematic shot here anyway let's start off with the very first clip which is at the airport i shot this and um, this shot supposedly to have an evening look so let me just show you that without any color correction and color grade it's really flat so after i doing some grading this is how it looked like but again based on the script i read it was supposedly to have that evening look so when we shot this it was hazy that day and this is the only footage that we have so how to add colors in the sky to make it look like it was evening so it's pretty easy so first of all you want to make a copy of the clip so I just gonna duplicate the track make sure the duplicated clip is above of your main video alright so once you've done that you can proceed add color corrector on the copied clip and so since we want to add color in the sky it makes sense to play around with the highlight so I just gonna add a bit of orange since evening um, usually have that orange sky so I'll put a bit of to orange here and then you can boost a bit of the mid tones towards red maybe I might bring down the highlight here and there you go but now the problem is everything is orange and yellow we don't want that kind of look we just want the portion out of the sky so how do we do that this is where you want to play around with the masking so you want to enable mask go to the very first keyframe and then you want to select the rectangular tool and make a really nice rectangular shape just on the sky section here on the top right so once you're done you want to feather it out so I'm gonna select the both feathering type and I'll put the value of 25% but as you can see the feathering is kind of dark that is because the pen and crop is at the very first chain so you want to move this all the way to the top to make the blending much more smoother and cleaner so you can go back to your color character and you can do some little bit of adjustment I'll do it a bit here maybe a bit of red here boost the midtones a bit and there you go pretty much done so let's just say the shot is moving around it's pretty easy to do this because the shot is static so let's just say uh, the camera is moving around for example you might want to consider to animate the masking uh, here so uh, add some keyframe and animate the mask accordingly to the shot itself so that's how you add color into the sky for this first video clip so let's move on to the next video so uh, the second clip here a shot of a building which is my school and I pretty much again color graded so let me show you the before and this is the after and by the way I'm using a dead white LUT you can purchase my LUT in the link down below and this is my LUT um, after you apply it so anyway um, for some reason the director want me to lit up the building it's, it's pretty easy it's more like an exposure fix and the method is very similar to the one that we did on the first clip which is a masking so again you want to make a duplication of the clip and make sure the clip that you have copied is above of your main video and then instead of using color corrector I just gonna use color curve instead so I just gonna drag and drop into my uh, top clip here and since we want to lit up the building we just want to play around with the mid tones here I'm gonna increase that a bit somewhere there and then might want to bring back the dark value now since the building is red it start to shift the color so might want to add a bit of red channel here and tone down the blue a bit all right 
but now as you can see we might affect I mean we actually affecting a bit on the top here so we just want to affect the building so again go to the masking uh, section of the video go to the very first keyframe enable mask and use the pen tool instead and do a really rough masking here I'm just gonna do it real quick once you're done you want to feather it out so I will select both and I'll put the value around 10% as you can see it's pretty dark that is because the pen and crop once again like I said at the very first chain you want to move it all the way to the top just move it out and then you can continue move the keyframe a bit slightly forward and animate it accordingly to the shot this is same to the first uh, method of the shot here like I say if the shot is moving around you might want to consider to animate the keyframe before we continue with our video I would just want to say thank you to today uh, sponsor uh, the Envanto market and you can get the best stock footage through their videohive.net or you can get a very cool sound effect or music through audio jungle so make sure to check them out they have a bunch of motion graphics after effect templates where you can purchase for a really good price so check it out in the link down below all right so here we are at the uh, third video clip and i have a shot of my friend holding her camera and what i did here is to enhance her skin tone so let me just turn off the effect and this is before and this is after it only affect her skin and this is more like a specific color tuning on um, on the subject itself on your shot so let me just remove this effect and how do you affect only her skull uh, her skin it's just to use a fact called color corrector secondary so by default add it to your main video clip go to custom and you want to select uh, effect range and select the skin tone of the person in the preview window so once you've done that you want to press show mask and you need to play around the luminance saturation and hue until it select her skin okay so you need to play this around quite a lot until only select her skin so you might want to um, do this a couple times So let's just say this is the best you can do in selecting her skin. You can now proceed to disable the mask. And <clears throat> for her skin, in, for, in my opinion, it's a bit too red. So you can just bring this down towards the blue to compensate with the redness on her skin. And then I want to lit up the skin a bit. Just bring up the slider of the gamma and maybe a bit of gain. And there you go so this is after and this is before you can see how much of enhancement I have done toward her skin so that's how you enhance a subject skin tone with Vegas Pro just by using color corrector secondary all right so here we are at the fourth clip and I have uh, this is actually a scene from a short film titled Tula that we did uh, a couple months ago and this is the color that we did on the shot it's kind of like a greeny kind of look but uh, anyway there's a one problem on the shot let me turn off the color all right so i don't know if you can see from my preview let me just bump it to the best resolution so from the sky here you can see there's a blue and a white the white is basically uh, it's clipping so let me just enable my um window coloring layout so let's go to my waveform you can see there's a clipping over here uh, let's go to my vector scope so um, there's a actually you can see a fine green color over here which is I don't know if you can see that's what we call color bending okay um, the camera is somehow having a hard time to read the transition or the gradient between the clipping to the color of the sky which is blue so it end up create this really fine green color so I want to get rid of it so after I doing some color correction and grading um, the color is much more obvious it's more like a green cyan here so I want to get rid of that portion so this is where you have to animate uh, on, on the color itself so for this case I'll be using a plugin called AAV Color Lab and I did make a tutorial on it before on how to change color on a, a specific color on your video using AAV Color Lab plugin and this plugin is free you can download it in the link down below so yeah alright so let's move 
to the portion where you can see the fine green section here so I want to disable the green so just select the green color here on the color adjustment and bring down the green saturation you can see it's gone now I don't know if you can see but the green is totally gone but then if I go to the very forward of the video you can see the tree is starting you know it's desaturated as well so we just want to remove it at the right time so this is where you have to animate the color so I will start to remove the green somewhere around here I'll add the first keyframe then I'll start to move it around here and this is where I'll remove the green by just decreasing the saturation and I'll move it a bit forward and bring back the green to normal right so you guys might be wondering why I not use color corrector secondary now color corrector secondary work the best in my opinion for skin tones and it doesn't really like precise when it when it comes to adjusting the color okay you can also use AAV color lab to um, adjust the skin tone but I prefer to use color corrector when it comes to adjust the skin tone because I feel that's much more of uh, detail you can play around compared to AAV, AAV color lab plugin so there's no right or wrong editing so always keep that in mind so let's continue on the final clip here now this is more like a trick all right um, this is much more advanced I would say and um, so this thing look um, normal to me but for some reason I just want to make it more dynamic so how do you do that so um, for this shot here um, all you have to do is to duplicate the video okay so on the top uh, video clip that you have copy you want to add an effect called invert all right so you want to add an invert of 100% and it turns out something like this and then um, on the track itself you want to change the blending mode to overlay all right so what it does is once you invert the clip and change the blending to overlay you make the highlight toned down and you increase the shadows up so you make everything smooth and even but as you can see it's too much so you want to tone down it a bit around maybe around 45 40 percent I'll say yes 40 percent look nice so this is how you enhance the clip uh, which is the dynamic range of the video so this is after and this is before you can see how much of dynamic we have added into the video itself so this is how you can actually make somehow like a fake HDR in your video so yeah so this is the advanced color grading tutorial of Vegas Pro so I hope you guys learn a lot today and uh, if you have any question related you can just leave it down in the comment section and I will love to try my best to like help you guys out there and uh, see you guys next time on my upcoming tutorial video bye bye